I need to address something. Um, everyone is having crazy dreams. And everyone is having visions. And, and no one's asking the real questions. No one's asking the right questions. We're seeing these things. We're feeling these things. And everyone's like, oh, that was a crazy dream. Or like, you're, you're, I, I'm talking to somebody tonight. You're going through sleep paralysis. You're seeing demons. You're seeing spirits. You're seeing angels. You're feeling things in your room. You're hearing voices in your head. I'm talking to somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to somebody. I'm here to tell you that the Bible, especially, it, it, it's specifically in Acts, and it's also in Joel, but in Acts 7, 12, if I'm not mistaken, Holy Spirit, please correct me as I go on. It says that in the last days, my I will pour out my spirit spirit on all people. That's not just Christians. That's not just black people or just white people or just this group of people and that people. Everybody's having crazy dreams. You know, you know it. You know, you can't sleep without having a crazy dream, a dream you can't understand, a dream you probably can't interpret. Everyone's having dreams. Everyone is having visions. I know you're seeing things because I'm seeing things. And if I'm seeing things, I know you're seeing things. Believe it or not, whether you believe in Christianity or not, or you want to believe in the book that was written 2,000 years ago. Well, listen, this book written 2,000 years ago is prophesying things that are happening today. Not not, not, oh, uh, oh, this, this happened a few years ago. No, these things are happening right now as we speak and we're living through it. I'm saying this so that someone hears me and they hear what I'm talking about. The answer is in the Bible. The answer is God. The answer is Jesus is trying to talk to you. Jesus gives us dreams when he's trying to warn us. Get, Jesus gives us dreams on prophetic vision. Jesus gives us dreams to speak to us. That's how he talks to us because in the daytime we're too busy. We're too busy partying. We're too busy drinking. We're too busy smoking. We're too busy getting into this and getting into that. We're too busy fixing the aesthetic of our Instagram. We're too busy dressing a certain way. We're too busy looking aesthetically pleasing to understand that those dreams are warning and they're trying to talk to us. Wake up, wake up because the devil is not gonna attack you in the daytime. When you're on guard, when you're looking, when you think that everything's going okay, when you're asleep is the way that they get into there. Some of y'all have dream catchers in your room. Get rid of them. Throw them away. Burn them. Let them go. Dream catchers are called dream catchers for a reason. See, the world will give you a deception and tell you dream catchers catch the bad dreams. No, 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 no. Dream catchers literally catch your dreams so you can't remember them. Dream catchers may seem like a traditionally, oh, like how can you call that evil? How, hey, listen to me. It's not just me. You can go look it up. Go look it up. Go look on YouTube. There are plenty of people who have been delivered from new age movements, from dream catchers from astral projection from this yoga and 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 acid and doing all these different things because they think they're opening a third eye let me tell you you have two spiritual eyes you have spiritual eyes that have not been opened yet because you're choosing to follow a different way that you know nothing about we have to stop looking at things that we see on social media and saying hmm, that looks good we have to stop rubbing these crystals and charging them i don't care if i lose every follower that i have then so be it but god is using me tonight because at 4 30 this morning i was attacked spiritually i saw witchcraft in this dream and i experienced paralysis twice and both times i started praying in the spirit that means i was praying in tongues i was praying in the spirit and nothing happened until i called on the name of jesus i called on jesus the first time and i began to get loose i felt my body loosen up and i went back to sleep then i felt i saw i was being attacked again i saw something floating in the air it was a fan like a a fan that you turn on you plug in the wall it was floating in the air as I was stuck paralyzed paralyzed and I could not move I started praying in the spirit it didn't work I'm not here to call out praying in the spirit I'm not saying praying in the spirit does not work but I will tell you is that when you call on the name of Jesus strongholds can be broken yet somebody is not listening and someone's heart is so hard someone's spirit is trying so hard to stop you from receiving this message but I'm talking to you I don't know who you are I don't know where you're at I don't know what you're doing I don't know what you've seen 
seen. I don't know what dreams you've had and what visions you've seen. I don't know how many times you get attacked at night. I don't know how many times that you have experienced paralysis in your sleep. But I'm here to tell you now, that's, that's, that's demonic. It's, that's demonic. That's demonic spirits attacking you. You can't remember your dreams. Those are demons trying to keep your dreams from you because God is sending warning. When you have a bad dream, sometimes they're demonic. But most of the time, that is a warning from the Lord. God is saying, you need to be doing this so that this does not happen to you. Or you're going down this path and it's going to lead to a place that you're not trying to be at. But we keep, we can't keep letting ourselves be open to demonic things. So I'm here to tell somebody please let the yoga go go look it up go look it up go look it up let the put the crystals down throw them outside man let them go pray over them oh holy spirit come into this room right now i'm talking to somebody this is real i'm not getting attacked in my sleep I'm not getting attacked in my sleep for no reason. I'm not seeing witchcraft before my eyes for no reason. I'm not experiencing sleep paralysis that I've never experienced in my life before because I'm such a good person or because I'm a bad person. No, because the Bible says twice in two different books Joel and Acts that the Lord will pour his spirit on all people not just Christians not just bad people not just good people his on all people to, that we know that he's coming this is the end of times I'm not here to tell you it's going to happen tomorrow or next month or two years or three years or ten years from now. I'm just here to tell you that it's coming and somebody needs to wake up. If I'm talking to one person, then the Lord's will is being done. I'm talking to somebody today. If you want to unfollow me, go ahead. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking off the Holy Spirit. If this is too much for you, then you need to pray about it. If this is too scary for you, you need to go ask God about it because you're not mad at me and you're not confused by me. You're, there are spirits that are trying to keep you from understanding what I'm telling you right now. Somebody, some of you, you've been seeing these numbers, these triple numbers repeat themselves, these triple numbers and say, oh, these are my angels. Some of you have been have been going to witches that you don't know are witches or you do know that they're witches. Some of you have been getting tarot card readings. Some of you have been seeing psychics. Some of you have been trying to astral project. And I'm here to tell you right now, in the, oh, hachri karaba setena karodoto, Drop it right now. It is not for you. It is working against you. It is not for you. It is not a good thing. It is on the wrong side of the spiritual battle. And I'm also here to say that those things are real. They're very real. I'm not calling them fake. I'm not calling it false. Uh, you know You know what's fun? You know what a fun fact is? Manifestation is very real. But manifestation is also very demonic. Yes, being spiritual is, is a real thing. Because I'm not here to call tell you that it's false. I'm not here to say that it's a lie i'm here to tell you that it's a real thing but it's on the wrong side of the spiritual spectrum that you want to be on where y'all are fighting on the wrong side you're on the wrong side because i'm not having these dreams about certain people in my life who are dabbling in yoga and doing little things like that go look up a new age testimony go look it up and if something in you is saying well i'm not gonna look it up because it's working for me and it's doing good for me then i'm not gonna don't say you weren't told. Do not say you weren't told. Because if you start seeing something you wasn't trying to see, just know that is not from God. That is not the universe. That is not a good thing. That is Satan. That is the devil. He's very real. The greatest lie that Satan never told was convincing human beings that he does not exist. And that Jesus is just a fairy tale. And that Jesus has blue eyes and brown curly hair. And he's his favorite, the, the most deceptive thing is moving people away from Jesus because, oh, the book was written 2,000 years ago. The book was written by men. The book was revised. Oh, Jesus, they, they make Jesus white. No, it's not about if Jesus is white or black. It's not about what, who wrote it and how many years ago it was written. What matters is, is that it works. When I speak scriptures, scriptures of the word, when I call on the name of Jesus Christ in my sleep paralysis, my body immediately begins to be freed. Somebody can get free tonight. Oh, someone, please free yourself tonight. Free yourself tomorrow night. Free yourself the next time you have a dream. Free yourself the next time you experience sleep paralysis. Scream out Jesus in the dream. Scream out Jesus in 
real life. Oh, I I'm talking to somebody tonight and someone's not listening. Someone's spirit is trying to turn them away. If you hear a voice in your head saying, turn this off, this girl is crazy. If you hear a voice in your head saying, don't believe that it's not true. That is the enemy. And I'm here to tell somebody tonight, you need to be freed, free yourself from whatever is holding you back. I'm not getting attacked for no reason. I wake up and sit here and pray for an hour and 30 minutes straight just to clear my house of whatever demons or whatever is floating around, whatever monitoring spirits are holding my dreams back from me because I can remember dreams vividly, detailed, color, outfits. I can, re that's the gift that God has given me. And lately I have not been able to remember my dreams because I have been letting demons crawl into my mind a different way. Guarding the door is one thing, but the enemy will find another way. It's by what I saw. I was watching two movies. To I watched, yes, two movies tonight. And, and there were little, little things that I caught in there. I said, oh, that's a little demonic, but like, Lord, just protect me from it. And I did not put on the armor of God before I went to sleep. I didn't pray the, as hard as I should have. I should have turned the movie off in two too often while I was watching the movies, I felt something saying you should stop watching this, but I didn't listen to it and I should have listened to it because I was attacked. I was attacked and it feels so real. It feels so real, but I'm here to tell somebody those are very real things that you're feeling. It's not false. It's not, oh, that was just a dream. No, dreams is how the Lord speaks to us when we're too busy. When we're too busy not being able to hear him, when we're too busy not listening, God always speaks to us. Someone says, oh, the Lord never speaks to me or God ain't never spoke to me before or God doesn't speak to all people. God speaks to everybody. It's in your dreams. God is always talking to you. And I I say God I mean Jehovah Jireh I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth I'm talking about Yahweh okay I'm talking about that God he's always talking to us but we choose to ignore it we choose to disobey it we choose to walk away from it we choose to run away from it I'm telling someone tonight don't run away from it say Lord I don't understand what's going on I don't I can't remember my remember my dreams or I saw something so disturbing or I saw something I don't understand I don't get it I need you to pray tonight I will be praying for everybody send your prayer request send a dm send something and i'm so serious and i know this is such a serious note and i know a lot of you have never seen me like this before this is who i am now baby it's getting real serious and it's getting real deep on this page yes i'm still fun yes i'll still do music and yes i'll still do these still do these things but i'm letting someone know that i am very spiritually equipped because when someone says that they're spiritual believe that but know that it's demonic they may not know it they may not know it you may not know it i'm talking to somebody you you may not know you may have every good intention in your heart that you're doing the right thing and that you mean well but listen those spirits you're trying to conjure up those little poses in yoga that you're doing those that's paying homage to demonic spirits and you can go look that up even people in India who used to be yogis who used to be actual gurus have turned away from it because they have been attacked they have their spiritual eyes not a third eye none of that mess none of that and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Their actual spiritual eyes were opened and they saw the demonic possession behind yoga, behind crystals, behind new age teaching, behind manifestation, behind the law of attraction, behind tarot card readings, behind psychics, behind people who claim to be witches because some of y'all are and some of y'all aren't. And I'm here to say tonight, oh, because Halloween is coming close. Halloween is coming real close. And oh, the Holy Spirit is talking to me right now. It's about to get real some of y'all are gonna see some things some of y'all gonna feel some things some of y'all are gonna experience some things but I'm not here to tell you to just let it slide and I'm not here to sit there and be like oh it's okay no I'm here to tell you it's real and it's coming for you it is working against you the law of attraction is attracting things that are meant to destroy you because I'm talking to someone tonight someone hears me it is never enough and it will never be enough because you keep trying to manifest. You keep trying to speak these things. You keep trying to trying to make these things happen for you. You keep trying to get more money. You keep trying to be more successful in this, this, and that. And you are successful. And you probably are making it. But I'm here to tell you, it will never be enough for you. You will always need more. Months will go by. Because you're still to experience depression. How are you still experiencing depression? 
How is that working? Someone says, I have everything I ever wanted. I'm making all the money I ever needed. I, I have a car. I have a new house. I have a great relationship. I have all these things going for me. Why am I still depressed? Why do I still feel suicidal? I'm talking to somebody today. Why do I still feel lonely? Why don't I have any friends? I have everything that I've ever wanted. Why don't I have the things that I need? Because that is not working for you. It's working against you and it will destroy you at the end of the day. Because you can't take that money with you when you die. You can't take that car. You can't take this business that you did. And you can't take this entrepreneurship. I'm here to talk to somebody today. You can listen to me. You can get mad. But you're not mad at me. Remember that. You're mad at God. You have a, you got beef with the Lord. You got to talk to the Lord about it. I am just the messenger. God is using me. I asked him to use me and he's using me tonight. So I'm talking to someone tonight. Someone please hear me, but it's not just me. Hear the Holy Spirit talking through me. Hear the Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I'm talking to somebody today. I know this was blatant. I know this was kind of wild, but it's for somebody today. I'm talking to somebody. If it's one person, then so be it. If it's not you, spread the message. If you know someone, tell them, send the video. I don't know, do whatever you need to do. But I'm talking to my generation tonight. We got to wake up. And I mean, truly wake up. Once I was truly open to things I saw just how deceived everybody is this is not saying that I'm better because I was there I'm talking about it because I was there I'm speaking on it because I've been delivered from it I'm talking about it because it still tries to attack me while I'm sleeping and it thinks that I'm powerless but I woke up at 4 30 in the morning and prayed until 5 33 and said, no, you can't come get me. Somebody, please be freed from those dreams tonight. Be freed from your night terrors. Be freed from sleep paralysis. Be freed from being choked in your sleep. Be freed from suicidal thoughts. Be freed from the voices you hear in your head because who else says that they heard voices? The school shooter says, I heard the voices tell me. The, the murderer, the person who shoots up a church. And I know someone says, well, that's only white people. Listen, they may be the only people that you see take action, but it don't matter what color you are to hear some voices in your head because I'm going to tell you one thing. The voice of the Lord, the voice of an angel, the voice of God is one voice. It's not voices, plural. It will never be voices, plural. If you ever hear more than one voice, if you ever hear yourself say, I heard voices, that's demons. They're demonic spirits because Satan comes as an angel of light. Lucifer was the most beautiful angel out of all the angels and still convince one third of all the angels that were in heaven that God was not it, that he would hold power over them. He convinced them that God was against them and, and deceived all of those angels. He was beautiful. He's not that ugly. He's not, he's not going to come to you ugly. He's going to come to you in this job. He's going to come to you in all this money. He's going to come to you with the perfect boyfriend, the perfect girlfriend. He's going to come to you and give you crystals, pretty, pretty, pretty crystals. He's going to come to you and give you your horoscope. I'm talking to someone today and some of y'all is going to get mad at me, but horoscopes are not of the Lord. It talks about astrology in the Bible. It talks about how demonic it is when the, the king were having dreams when Nebuchadnezzar was having dreams he said I'm having these dreams he called the astrologers <laughs> he called the sorcerers he called the witches and they could not interpret the dream but then Daniel came in there and said I I'm here to interpret the dream for you he got the interpretation from the Lord these things are still happening today those things did happen they happened. They're real. I'm talking to someone. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. And you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. Go to the Lord about it. Go to the Lord about it. Go to the Lord about it. God sees what we do in private. God do, do, sees what we do behind closed doors. Because I'm also going to say this, that person you see who's always quoting scripture and that person you see who's always saying this and this and that about Jesus are not always the people that are really this and this about Jesus Christ. Because I'm not talking about anyone specific that I know, but I'm talking to somebody who's, who sees Christianity through a certain lens. And I'm here to tell you, listen, they may portray themselves to be more holier than thou but none of us are i'm just as bad as the next person because i sin every single day 
just know that you can be forgiven. It'll be as if you never did it. You can be freed from these things. But it starts with understanding the spiritual side of it. It starts with understanding spiritual warfare. It is so real. It is very real. And if you choose to keep your mind close to it, if you choose, then that is pure ignorance. Hosea talks about how his people lack understanding. They lack knowledge due to ignorance. Because they chose to be ignorant. They heard someone speak. They heard someone say, this is what Jesus Christ can do for you. They heard the word of the Lord. But they chose to be ignorant. They lacked understanding because they lacked the, they lacked the what is the words? Holy Spirit, you moved to me. They lacked the need and the eagerness to know what was going on. They chose to stay in their ignorance because it was too much. And I know this is too much for somebody right now. I know it's too much, but don't ask me about it. Go read a Bible, man. Go talk to God. And I'll rephrase that. Yeah, my DMs are open. If someone just wants to purely understand, I'm 100% talking out of love. I don't want anybody else to experience these things that I've been going through. This is not the first time I've been attacked. I've been attacked by two witches before. And this time I was attacked by one witch. And I just, I felt it. I, I experienced it. I saw it. I'm talking to somebody tonight. These things are real. Please know that. Don't overlook it. Don't ignore it. Do not be ignorant. Please don't be ignorant. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning right now. And like, I had to say this. I had to. I had to. It's very real. So please have a blessed day. I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe it's a few of you. Maybe it's a lot of you. And maybe it's one of you. And I know that it's one of you because God would not have me on here if it was if I wasn't talking to one person. Whether they see it next week or next month, it's for somebody. And it's for you. Please listen. Please take heed. Please ask, say, Lord, I don't know. And even if you don't believe in him, just say, look, I don't believe. Tell him, tell him. See, you. We people think you can't be honest with God. Say, look, I don't understand. And, and I, I, I don't have a lot to give you. But if you are, please show me who you are. There, If you are having questions about the new age situations, about the crystals and the yoga and all that, please. I didn't dabble that deep into it, but I watched enough testimonies and experienced enough people astral projecting over my house and trying to enter while I was sleeping for me to not sit up in here and say that y'all do not need to be astral projecting. It is illegal not I'm not talking paper I'm not talking constitution I sure ain't talking about the government I'm talking about it is spiritually illegal to use astral projection to projection to enter into the spirit realm there is a way there is a proper way I've seen it I've been there I can go there it's very real and I'm just here to say that you need to take heed please look it up Look it up. And if something is holding you back from looking up, that is something in you trying to hold on to you. You think you have control over it, but it got control over you. I'm a living witness. I'm not talking just to talk. I'm not talking just to talk. I know this was a lot for somebody. If it's not for you, just hear what I'm saying. Carry on with your day. But if this is for you, please, please don't get angry. Just just try to seek the truth about it. Please don't remain ignorant for you, not for me. And you don't got to tell me about it. Please tell your friends. Spread it to whoever you know. And if you just didn't know, I don't. I'm, if this came out aggressive, I, I needed it to get, to, I needed you to hear it, whoever you are. Please, please, please hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. Do not be deceived. Oh, and it sounds so corny. I feel so corny, but I, I'm as honest and as pure and as true as my heart can be right now. I don't want to see anybody fail. So, oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm tired, but I'm talking to somebody. So please hear me. All right.